How's it going, guys? Welcome back to yet another episode of the I'm Colonel M Podcast. My name is Alex Rodriguez, just in case you're new here. And if you want to subscribe, highly recommend you to do so because we are always giving you the best tips and tricks when it comes to traveling to Cuba. Today, I want to talk to you guys about something that I, I've seen a lot here on YouTube, basically, which is there is a dog in the background. I don't know what's happening outside, but so basically so many YouTubers, traveler influencers, I would call them like that. Um, and even people creating content in Cuba, so many of them, they're creating content in Cuba about the negative things when it comes to traveling to Cuba or Cuba as a country. And actually, this is a question that I get a lot. Hey, Alex, why don't you show the reality of Cuba? And I want to, I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it because I think it's, it's a great topic. And the reason why I don't create that content is because my reality is different to what you see or what most people think the reality is of Cuba. I'm not saying that Cuba has a bad face or a negative face, which all the countries have. So Cuba is not a special place or a special country. That is only about negative things. And that's why I think the tourism, I think beautiful places, I think beautiful destinations are worth it when it comes to promoting them. All right. So why you Google or why you go to YouTube and you see people talking about the bad things about Cuba? For example, most people, they talk about the trashed that you're going to see in Havana, which is completely truth. I mean, the old town is not Cuba. And I have to tell you this because I've been talking about this for a long time in this YouTube channel, and I want to talk about it in the podcast. When you visit Cuba and you walk around Cuba, you're going to see so many contrasts. And I think Cuba is equal contrast. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this. When you come to Cuba, you visit the old town, you go to the center, Havana Centro, and the contrast is huge. The old town is pretty, pretty, it's clean, and the Havana Centro is a little bit darker, but it has trash all over the place. We have not a specific answer about why is this happening other than we have not the infrastructure to have a better lifestyle. And I have to tell you that that's, I would say, over the 70% of the population in Cuba are living that, that way, okay? Or even more. I'm just saying a number, but so you can have an idea. When you Google, or again, here on YouTube, you go like, hey, um, how to travel to Cuba? Of course, that you're going to see so many YouTubers or travelers saying or giving you tips, me as an, as an example. But there's so many others that they're going to be telling you the trending topic like, do not come to Cuba. And I will say, why? Why are you going to be saying, do not come to Cuba? And I... I I think, okay, the people that have said that before is because number one, they probably, I'm not sure, but they probably have never visited Cuba and what they see is what they talk about. Number two, if they have visited Cuba before, they had not a great experience for so many reasons. So why don't you come to Cuba and you have your own experience? Because I have so many friends of mine that they work in the tourism industry as well. And their clients, they come to Cuba. They think that Cuba is one of the most impressive, beautiful island that they have ever visited in the world. It depends about what kind of trip or what are you looking for when you visit. Not only Cuba, but whatever is the country that you want to visit in the future. For example, um, I'm going to talk about Panama, which is the, the country that I have been before three times. And every time I went to Panama, I thought that Panama was beautiful because of the places that I visited. The same with Cuba. If I went to Panama, um, if I was visiting Panama 
I don't know, in two days. And I go deep into the local, local, what they call local life. I'm going to see people starving. I'm going to see people surfing. I'm going to be, you know, seeing like disgusting things. Like people complaining about the salary, complaining about the, the future, complaining about the, the economy. Because that's how the world works. Now, Cuba as a country is a very controversial country because of the history, because of the revolution, because of the government, because of all the reasons that you know, right? But the point is, why am I going to tell you do not come to a country or do not live this experience? Who am I? That's why I tell you come to Cuba. And of course, that I do provide services here and I'm going to give you the best opportunity to discover the island and showing you the best, the beauty, the dark side as well, depending on what you want to see, of course. But when people say, do not come to Cuba, it's because they simply don't think about the Cuban people. Or there's some others who think they think about the Cuban people and they say, don't go to Cuba because you're going to be supporting the Cuban, the Cuban government, the regime. And uh, you're going to be giving money to the government. You're not going to be supporting the Cuban people. And again, it depends about what kind of trip do you do. Of course, that if you come and you stay in the cayos or you stay in the hotels, which is completely up to you. I mean, it's your life. You know what I mean? Let me know in the comments below if you have visited Cuba before, where you have stayed before. Because I cannot tell you, do not go there, do not go there, don't do this, do that. I mean, I can suggest you, but I cannot tell you what to do. And again, people say, hey, you're going to be uh, supporting uh, the government. It depends. Since you get a ticket, of course, part of that money is going to go for the government. Once you get to through the airport, you're going to be supporting the government. But once you get out of the airport and you go to the La Casa Particular, where you're going to be staying, Airbnb, um, boutique hotel, whatever. Now you are supporting the Cuban people. And of course, again, the Cuban people, they're already paying. They're going to be paying some stuff in Cuba because they live in Cuba. So their economy works inside of the country which is mind-blowing right it's like hey don't go to cuba you're going to be supporting the government but if you buy some stuff you're going to be supporting the cuban people from the cuban people i'm sorry if you buy some stuff from the cuban people you're going to be supporting the cuban people but the cuban people they buy stuff in cuba so the economy flows like that it's cash flow coming in and out and in cuba so we as locals we support the government because we buy stuff from the government we support the Cuban people because we buy stuff from the Cuban people. So it, it's something very confusing. But the point is, if you Google or YouTube and you get confused about if you would visit Cuba or not, this is my answer. Do what you feel best. Like if you want to visit Cuba because of the Cuban people, not because of the beach, not because of the hotels, not because of the... Um, you know, the contrast that you want to see. Basically, what most people do is they come to Cuba because of the, of the Cuban people, because meeting locals in Cuba, basically, or mainly, is an experience, believe it or not. Because of the way that people Cuban are, because of the way that they treat you, because what the lifestyle gives you as an experience, and it changed your mind completely. Actually, I made a podcast. The last episode was about the Christmas when the Christmas was banned in Cuba. And that podcast is doing pretty well on Spotify. The reason is because people want to know that. And the best way they have to know about that is because if you come to Cuba and you sure or you ask to the locals about that. And of course, everyone has a different opinion. Hey, I don't like the government. Some people are going to say, I appreciate the government or I accept the government or I'm, I'm thankful, uh, thankful about the government. It depends about who you are, who you ask uh, that question. But I, I don't know if you agree with me about that people shouldn't be saying, do not come to Cuba or do not do this. And as a travel, 
I don't want to say travel expert, but as a Cuban local who knows a lot about Cuba, Cuba needs tourism. Cuba needs visitors. Cuba needs a lot of you guys. And actually, I want to take a minute to tell you that this video is not sponsored by anyone, but is supported by those of you who comes to Cuba with us. If you go to amkernelin.com and you purchase one of our trips or you come to Cuba with us, you're going to be supporting a lot. Not only this channel, but again, the Cuban people, because all the services that we do provide are provided by Cuban locals, Cuban people. Again, YouTubers, travel influencers, please don't say that. You have visited Cuba before? If yes, okay, let other people live their experience. If you haven't, what the heck are you talking about? What have made you feel or think about that way? Or thinking about Cuba that way? Because what you see on the news, because what you see about the, 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 the government or why? Actually, I was like this to have here on the podcast um, another travel influencer. And she had been in Cuba. I don't want to say the name because she's going to be on the podcast soon. Hope so. But she was very busy here. And she had been in, in, in Cuba so many times. And she loves Cuba. And of course, she knows about the contrast. She knows about the government. She knows about the locals. And all the time that she comes, every time she comes, she shares with, the, with her clients the local life, the culture, the roots, the tradition. And I love that. Because that's what basically um, Cuba is about. Cuba is all about tradition. Is what it has left because we don't know about the future. So everyone that comes to Cuba, they want to know why is Cuba like this? If I was an American, for example, which are one of our mainly viewers here on the YouTube channel or a Canadian, and I want to go to Cuba and I don't know anything about Cuba and I, and I Google or go to YouTube, hey, how to visit Cuba? And I see a video saying Cuba is the worst country that I have visited don't come and I watch it, I'm going to be getting that perspective, that point of view, but it's not mine. You know, it's like going to the grocery store and I tell you, Hey, don't buy this fruit because it's not good. And then you try it and you say, wow, it's great. It's completely up to you. It's completely about your mindset and how open you are to understand or not the reality of Cuba. And, and at the end, you're going to have your own reality. You know what I mean? Subscribe if you haven't. It's going to be helping a lot. And um, yeah. So let me know, guys. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this. And actually, we're going to be launching an online course all about traveling to Cuba. The overall things that you should know before coming here. Let me know what you think about it. See you guys in the next episode. It was a pleasure having you here and seeing all your smiley faces. Ciao, Pacal.